what we found originally was this small shard of ironstone that has a partial maker's mark. Then we found a larger piece that has a different piece of a maker's mark. It looks like from other images that they will fit together, but we are missing a couple of shards in the middle. We can date this piece to some time between 18, sorry, 1891 and 1900 because of the word England. That was added to pottery be, um, because of the McKinley Tariff Acts of 1890, 1891 and 1894. After 1900, they changed that to remade in England. So we've got a fairly narrow date range, we've got a manufacturer, so we may be able to actually identify what sort of a vessel this was, what it came from.